Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. We got Wasubi back with us. How are we doing today, sir? Man, um, great as always. Um, playing the most hated deck in the game. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really don't think this deck deserves hate, though. I, I, yeah. I think after how bad Syndicate was for like three seasons, like for I sure. think they deserved some love and people that do play Syndicate, you know. I or, agree. I or agree. Like playing Syndicate. I mean. Arguably, like, the patch could have been more significant than nerfing a Tunnel Drill by one point. Uh, sorry, one provision. But, I mean, yeah, like, at the end of the day, Syndicate is um, undeniably the most skill-intensive faction. So there's always going to be, like, the difficulty aspect to it. So even though the deck is extremely strong, it's, you know, it, it requires thinking, that's for sure. It's yeah. hard to play, so... Yeah, they just gotta yeah. get these guys under control. Yeah, I i mean, you know what I would do? I would just put them to six provisions, and like... Suddenly, you, you lost two more provisions, and that's a lot with the drill as well. That's three provisions, you're down, so... Yeah. You have to, like, cut one of those big cards uh, all of a sudden. Because, like, so. even, like, this is what I was thinking about this yesterday. Like, if you go to, like, Nilfgaard, I think they're fives. What are those cards that uh Oh you mean uh, by Benendo tactics? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. you have a card like that and it's like you look at this thing and it's like how is this and this the same? Like it really is yeah, the exactly the the girl the guy that your girlfriend told you to worry about or whatever, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> like it, it it for me as a as a Nilfgaard player, like I like that tactics deck, like you know what I mean. Yeah. But it's like I, I would love to play. Like imagine if if you had a slave and the Venandala leads would boost themselves based on the amount of tactics in your hand, and then each time you play a tactic, not only does your Venandal get boosted by one, but you you also get like a Helch charge and a Scorpion charge. Yeah, like it, you would actually have a real deck, right? Yeah, I was thinking so, about that because that's what they reminded me of, and I'm like, man, if, if those did like that, like you think you yeah. hate Nilfgaard now. Wait till you don't have a fucking board for nine turns. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. But uh, you know, going through the uh, list, there's been different variations of it. Um, this exactly. is the this is the most updated one. Um, yeah, I mean, like as you were saying earlier, or you know, at the end of the video, whatever, we'll get there. There's like a thousand ways to actually play Syndicate. Um, I, I keep hearing, man, like, people tell me, oh, Syndicate has this or this weakness. Like, like no, just just change your deck, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you can play Triss, you can play Siggy, you can play Heatwave, you can play Tavern Brawl, you can play Piggy, you could even go Clowny and play, like, a Igni with Bloody Good Friends. Then you have the Poison Package in the Bronzes. Like, yeah. the, it, the, this list so flexible it actually blows my mind yeah that's what i like i said that's what i was saying like i i i, I like it because you just you take out like four or five cards and then all of a sudden it's a completely different deck like yeah it just for sure it it functions so well and like like mm -hmm. you know i you know I, it always stinks when there's like a really powerful deck that everybody plays because it, it gets hated on but i i i really don't think this deck does i think this is how like syndicate should be played there's coins there's damage there's boosts it's there's it's like a crime yeah it's like a, it's a <laughs> it's a good mix of everything and i i just yeah i really think that like if they could somehow get the other leaders to function like this syndicate would, would be, be a lot of fun and like yeah. i think it would draw a lot of more people to the game but yeah um, and I mean, like, this this version in particular, it does better against Nilfgaard, which is, like, the, the most popular faction right now, apparently. I mean, you've got the Poison Package, and you've got the Heat Wave at your disposal. Um, you're also going to do better against the likes of, like, Carapaz and V, these extremely tall monster decks. Always nice to have a Heat Wave at hand. Um, but... You know, as as we were saying, if you're seeing more Skellige, or let's say you're queuing into all the mirror matches, you can you can simply go play the Siggy version, get in the Sir Skewer Tooth, two more Intimidate engines, a lot more profit. Yeah, like uh, 
that's what makes the faction so strong and flexible. You can just adapt, you know. Don't just blindly net deck this because, you know, Devil Driven and Vusubi played it. You can <laughs> you can adapt the deck, you know, uh, based on your local meta or on the daily meta because, like, it's always changing day to day, right? Like, one day you see Skellige, next day you see Novgaard. You, you switch out two cards, as we mentioned, and, you know, you just make yourself better against those matchups. Yeah, and, uh, like, another thing, too, like, because there's so many different versions of this list, it makes people play differently. They, yeah, you know, hold sure. off on a certain card because they want to play around Tavern Ball. They, you know, yeah. you know, they hold off on this because they don't want it to get heat waved. You know, it's like they know there's different. Their Philippa can drop at any time, so they have to play a card or maybe possibly waste a leader charge on it, even though you don't have Philippa. It's like a lot yeah, of this stuff yeah. just it it makes your opponent think so much about so many different things. They're like, well, do I? kill this because then i don't have an answer for drill uh do i use my leader on cleaver but then they do and now all of a sudden they got a 12 point poison target it's like this yeah. list is fucking awesome i'm i'm just like people hate like on it, it but it's... i think it's badass i think it, it yeah it's just... yeah it, it's strong and like there, there are a lot of decisions to be made for sure oh a another thing you see one card i forgot about well, Vanguard actually qualified for Open 2 this weekend, and you know what he did in this deck? He actually replaced the Triss oh, the with... Horson. Horson Jr., yeah, he's a, a 10. He's a 10. He, he's a 10, yeah. So, obviously, so if you actually read this card, damage you boost to the enemy unit by 6, and, you know, if, if it's excess damage, you get coins, and then you also can use a fee, destroy enemy unit with 3 power or less. So... Like, obviously this sucks against Skellige, but imagine you're playing against, like, I don't know, Nature's Gift, Devotion, as we will later in this video. They play a Hemadryad, they use a Leader Charge, it goes to 6, boom. It's just that. Dude, just five dead. Points as well. <laughs> yeah, cheeky like, play, sir. Cheeky, cheeky play. Cheeky card, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I yeah, did then, like that. I saw a couple uh, games that he played and... Uh... Yeah. It, uh... It's definitely cheeky. It's good in the mirror. It's it's. I mean, it's great against Novgaard as well. Uh, and then yeah, you just simply upgrade the bloody good fun to like a payday, and and that's the deck. So there's like another card that could potentially make it to the deck. Yeah, like another so one many, once so again many... where after a weekend where someone does good with the list, you're gonna see yeah. it. People are gonna play around yeah. it. So now it's... yeah, I, I I know for example Saber. Uh, he he played like. 40 games and he he has an insane score i think he lost like five games tops out of 40 which is ridiculous right. and i know he's playing like a version that has siggy and has tavern brawl in it so like tavern brawl is another card you have to be worried about and then you know towards the end of last season a lot of people are playing igni in this deck like there's just so many different possibilities it's, uh yeah it's yeah. it's a lot to think about it's uh it's really good and all the the considerations and stuff are at the uh, TLG dot uh, TLG dot GG slash meta you know there's there this list will be there as is and then there's considerations and probably Horson yeah. Jr. will get added in there just because it did so well I mean you make it to mm -hmm. a qualifier with something it's it's yeah. usually gonna find a spot so keep an eye out for that um. Wasubi, once again, sir, thank you for recording, man. I always, I always have so much fun jamming with Wasubi. You guys have no idea, man. Um, always happy to. <laughs> and if you, uh, we gotta hold up one second though. If you are not in the TLG Discord, you are missing out on the greatest emote of all time that Zaps <laughs> did for Wasubi. It's gonna be right here for sure. Uh, wow. <laughs> That was epic, dude. Absolutely epic, Mr. Paps. Mr. Paps does it again, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was I, I was definitely bound to get a goon emote one day because, you know, I uh, like to goon around. You put that in the, okay. in, the, in the chat and I was just like, oh my god, dude. That is like the greatest <laughs> thing I've ever seen, man. So good. Yeah. So make sure you join the Discord, too. You know, you can... Um, uh, talk to some of the other uh, fellow Gwent players. Uh, maybe even some of the uh, teammates can help you out, you know, with some questions yeah. and stuff. I'm actually very proud, like, how active the Discord is over the years. Like, 
there's always something going down and everything went. Yeah. Um, definitely, you can you can come and ask, and you will be given a appropriate answer. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, you know, like, like another thing too is like you know if you have questions on card kegs and stuff like that, cards to pick, you, people jump on those instantly, and like I'd say. 99% of the time, it doesn't really matter who answers. Most people that have played the game long enough know what's the correct pick. Yeah, so. they know what's the, what's the best out of the three for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, here's a couple games, guys. I think you'll enjoy them. Uh, thank you guys so much for everything. We'll see you at the end. Oh, yeah. All right. We've got ourselves a nature gift. Okay. So, the poisons are going to be is fantastic. Yeah. Unless we're cheeky, I guess. Mm -hmm. And these um, mulligans are going to be kind of weird. That's for sure, yeah. Let me drop the other jackal. Uh, or did we just drop the gourd and sacrifice one? Of the gourd, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you just risk the safe cracker, it's fine. That's not bad. Right. Three poisons, possibility. No. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, we have the fur coret. Yeah. So. True. But he does have the crystal skull for some reason. <laughs> so he apparently is he knows this uh song here, the the song of the syndicate. I mean, doesn't make too much sense in uh nature's gift, but then again it's like whatever I guess. Uh I'm assuming he just goes like Danka or something. Starts generating carryover, which is actually really scary for us, not gonna lie. We should have kept but that th gourd in hand, that way we can yoink it <clears throat> and get the gourd to uh, be all chonky. Oh, oh Mr. Polnant. We're playing a game of want. Oh. Well, uh, I suppose we're just giving up on this round then, sure. Why not? Are we playing the safe cracker still? We have to, right? Um, I think... Hmm. That's actually a good question. You don't necessarily have to, actually. Like, you have a hand where... Hmm. What if we just dropped a sea jackal and then went, like, swindle? Just play two crimes, yeah. I think I like that better. Do the swindle first, though, huh? Sure. I mean, I, I don't think it matters. But, like, if he drops figures like that and he has a crystal skull on the board, I think, yeah, he just needs to get out. Thin the boat, go to max, carry over, call it a day. Successful day in the office, as they say. Alright. Yeah, I'm curious to see what he... I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't think he... Like, the figures is too important, right? Yeah. Uh, because it just forces us to, like, choose, right? Oh, God. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> what if we had Heat Wave here? Like, I mean, we still don't go for it, but yeah, yeah he's not really showing any respect. To such scenarios, yeah. So we just play the jackal and don't the click, jackal. huh? I don't think we click. He just oh, goes to rebuke and then we pass. Exactly. I mean, if he wastes a rebuke, I'm happy. Right. See it. At this dryad, like, like what are you <laughs> waiting for, man? This it, is it's a symbol. It's the Osis engine. It's a. Yeah. We out. Just pause here, call it a day. And then, uh. Yeah. Does well, he go we, for the 2 we, I, mean, <laughs> I don't think it works for him at all. Like. There's the Onero, so it's gonna be so much harder. Well, now we can mold the Justice, actually. Because that's our Furka target right now. Ah, that's a lot of crimes. Is this hand good enough? I think it actually is. Yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah, we, we just need to just... for the for the drill if we need it, right? Yeah, either the drill or the heat wave if something gets too big too quickly, and then 
we should just be fine, right? What? Oh. Okay. So well, we that's an easy swindle. Yeah. Right. So he's gotta uh, be he's gotta be a Gezrus fan. Has to oh be. yeah, there's definitely Gezrus. There's like Ethna, there's Gezrus, there there's probably Pafko, like quite a few threats we actually have to deal with, but we keep uh, Well, I think you definitely mulligan the Fistak Trafficker. And the fist tag as well. We probably want to mulligan both fist tags actually. Yeah, the other one too. And if we get a safe cracker, we have two mulligan. Okay, this is the hand then. We're uh, so we're missing out on drill or heat wave. Basically, or have Jacques. To... Well, Jacques is like whatever. Uh, we'll probably miss out on heat wave then. Not a big deal, I don't think. We uh, start out with cleaver. Or... Oh no, we start out with the safe crackers. So. Yeah, safe cracker for sure. Like we only have two crimes in hand, but it's fine. Oh, we should have went back row, huh? Uh, yes. We well, it depends actually. Dunka, dunka, dunka. Yes, yes, yes. We can joint that. <laughs> but I mean, we don't nah, have an we, answer for it. Yeah, we, we'll we ignore this. It. We ignore it for the time being. Um, could just go fur coat justice, right? No. Uh, Do I play the other one in the back row or keep it? Yeah. Yeah. Daily you're you're not gonna have issues with pockets balance. or anything, so. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna end up going for the drill this game. Can't imagine not going for it, honestly. It's just so good, right? Well, if, if he drops the... the Ethne and leader charges, it just nukes yeah. the, whole, the whole thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Critter. <laughs> Kick so, critters. So if he goes, oh, he went back, bro. Okay, so he doesn't have uh, Gaten. Hmm. Probably not. Yeah. I I don't think I've ever seen them play that actually. So I guess we just go Cleaver then. Back row. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Click it once for sure. And just hold there probably. Yeah, look at we have a board full of chrome splitters now. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean like Granity's getting yeah. a ton of value off of this. Oh, well, I, all I the don't know what I would say it's all, but it's uh yeah. Uh shakedown on the bleeding five probably. Just so he can't kill another engine. Boat comes out, then we're threatening Philippa, drill. Yeah, it's just, it's just game over, right? Popcorn. Yeah, nice Popcorn man. <laughs> oh, he has the leaders of two. I mean, isn't that like the easiest Philippa of your life? I think. Because we can always drill or heatwave the Gezra, right? Like, we don't care about the Gezra. He doesn't have a board to Gezra, first of all. <laughs> right. He has like two units in the back, right? Ah, uh, what an easy Philippa, man. Juicy. Come here, Berja. Yeah. You're, you're ours now. Yeah. I mean, granted, it's only one per turn, oh. but I mean, still. Is he actually going to lead her? He is. Wow. So we just drill, okay. right? I think you actually just dip and uh, ping one of them with Berja. Because you want the drill to be as potent as possible on deploy. It's just gonna uh, end up getting uh, uh, rebuked, right? Yeah, yeah that exactly. protector. Mm -hmm. So you wanna, you wanna cause as much damage as possible. And I mean, the Gezra is gonna go off for a couple of turns, but... He's gotta wait one more turn, right? It's still. Mm -hmm. Well, like, what is he calling for? 
He's boosting oh. this, whatever it is. So he goes like shaping nature or something. This is good for him though. He actually gets uh, to double proc uh, his engines, which is nice. Yeah, sure. Okay. So again, I think we just ping the one of the sixes and probably play like uh, Triss. Um, could be awkward because we over profit. I think you just go jackal. Click twice. We cl I don't think we click at all, actually. Then our spender dies. Oh, I mean, oh, the drill. then you could, you could go leader charge and click once, but I, I don't think you click at all, actually. I, I think you just ignore it. One man's battlefield is yeah. another man's right patch just leave for it as it is. It's bait. Kind of, yeah. It's bait, and it's also not really bait. I mean... I guess it depends so this the is, way you're looking. Yeah, at well, yeah, that that too, and it delays his. Gezra, Gezra yeah, like it, it, we're just putting him in a in an awkward position, right? Because like yeah, he knows, yeah, okay, so he just accepts uh, getting drilled, like a good Christian. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like we just do the bullshit. We <laughs> just do the bullshit. Yeah. All right. Um, so, how do we do this the most efficient way? Well, ge well, we kill Gezra, obviously, and then we ping the one with Vitality, with Pafko, to finish her off. Because we're gonna put her to one, right? Right. So, yeah. Just kill that. Leader. And... I mean, you might as well ping the Ethernet twice just to threaten, or maybe just once. I don't know, you're definitely spending everything with this two pings. Maybe ping Ethernet once and then kill a uh, tree end or something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, we're up, we're up like 27. Man. Yeah, it's just... Swindle's just broken. I mean, it, well, I guess yeah, we're so Well, he, we still get the spender, you, so good call on not spending. Yeah, 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 for sure. Game is over at this point. Uh, Swindle is the best roller here, right? Just get Swindle for the maximum profit if we can. If we can't, then whatever. Yeah, easy game. <laughs> easy. <laughs> oh, boy. And then just yeah. spam, spam, spam. Tuck, 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 tuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. 62. Okay. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> Unfortunately, unfortunately for Gift, like, you you can't win the long round ever. You have to bleed. But uh, then again, we had both of our... Like, we literally didn't spend our safe crackers or justice, right? So we, we would have just... Yeah, I think that was huge. Them. I think that was huge. Yeah. Just, yeah. just holding and stepping back from it and being like, okay, well, we're not gonna... For end. sure, yeah. The only like, human is sometimes you just hold onto your cards and, your gourd and there's not big. much of them you can do. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fun one. Uh, definitely, like, an approach that you don't see, usually. No. But if, if you know it's, like, devotion gift, like, what can they do, right? <laughs> it's just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. What he can do is not play his figures there, right? That was like the big WTF moment there. Yeah. I think. Yeah, he played it. Definitely. Biggest. Opener, right? Like, he yeah. just dropped yeah. it. And then, like, he played his Hamadryad and didn't even oh. use it, really. Yeah. I mean, I guess he knew he was winning the round at that point. But, like, sure. Because figures is so annoying, right? You have to get through and, like... So what, like, that's either your Philippa, your Heatwave, or, like, bloody good fun. You know what I mean? And, like, you can't drill it, because Figus right. comes down early into the round, and then you play a drill, and then it just gets rebuked. Like, right. you can't do that. So, right. uh, yeah, just hold on to your figures, guys. <laughs> very, very important in the matchup, as it turns out. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a as you said, a WTF moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so mean. Ooh, okay.
Okay. SK, Omega Lul. We have the red coin. We can abuse this if, if we get a good hand. What? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm scared. Uh, we drop one safe cracker, right? Yeah, one safe cracker for sure. And, and then Gordo. Then I think we just mug in the Gordo. Yeah. Not much else to do. Oh, and we got a bonus spender. Huge. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, we also have a decent amount of crimes here, actually. Yeah, these are gonna pop off for nines. Mm -hmm. Could be our Philippa if we want to pressure him. Ooh, he actually plays like a complete discard package. Okay, that's cheeky. Mm, I mean, we just, yeah. This kind of plays itself, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a big safe cracker, the man. Thickums. Oh, yeah. This guy's already. Yeah. Single. Ooh. Okay. That's the only Is that our. Well, we still get our engine down, right? Yeah, we go with the engine and then we start reacting to his, basically. It's always better to get your stack. Yeah, 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 for sure. It, I mean, I don't think it matters, right? No, not that we have a drill or anything. Uh, the nice thing is we still have Furco. Right. Could use that for a pocket later. Burna. Okay, he goes Burna, which probably means he gets his pass, right? If he has uh, skulls and whatnot. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Just one skirm. Yeah, I mean, we poisoned the Sigwalds. Uh, pretty straightforward. He wants to pass, so be it. I think we're happy about that. Uh, we just get ahead with like a dip and call it a day. Or maybe shakedown. Maybe shakedown is better, right? Ooh. Wait, that's not a good idea, Mr. Opponent, sir. That is not a good idea at all. Okay. Um, Do we just steal the Sigvold? Nah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> we, I mean, we, <laughs> we just kill it, huh? Well, do we... Uh, it keeps pinging, man. It does, but... And then if he damages it, that's really going to be bad. Sure. I mean, we're gonna poison it eventually. I, I just don't know if we want to do it right now. Oh, I see, because we're at six coins. Yeah, I, I mean, he also has the double bolt set up. I think you can go for the poison, actually. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. I, I think we're just gonna pass, honestly. Yeah, we over profit like two coins, but. Like, does, that, doesn't he kind of have to pass here? Like, isn't he scared? Like, I don't know. I would be scared, man. It just goes for girds. Sure. That's decent points. Uh, so Philippa will only play for nine, so it's actually not enough. So we just play the shakedown. Um, I think you go jackal. Probably click once. I want to see. Maybe once is fine. Fresh. Yeah. Sure. It dies to a gutting slash. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, then we can still spend with the... Ooh. He really wants to win this round. He's just slamming cards. Complete... Uh, complete gym jammer. He's a wild boar friend. Yeah, he could be a wild boar friend. Uh, I think we click the jackal right, uh, go shake down, start denying some bloodthirst. Go on this? Side? Mm -hmm, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, I, I think we just hold right. Uh, don't think you want to get too crazy trying to get ahead. Uh, because if he doesn't respect this, we can still play Philippa this round. So. Yeah. I mean, he kind of has to be worried at this point, right? Nah. Yeah, he doesn't care, apparently. <laughs> so we click uh, again and shake down, huh? I think, I think this could be our fill, actually. 
So what are we stealing? Click, uh, I think you click the jackal. At least once. And steal the greatsword. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we could also click twice, but is that is that good? It's probably fine. Yeah. Probably Full fine. spend. Huh? Yeah, click again and then go fill. Sure. Put him out of his misery, as they say. <laughs> Because, uh, as you were saying, if, if he's playing shenanigans like Wild Boar, we definitely want to get it out of him this round, right? Right. Like, we don't want to go into a long round three. Ah. Oh, okay. okay. Well, was this garbage all along? Well, we just go shakedown, right? I guess we protect the Halfling? I would protect the Halfling, I think. Yeah. 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 And then we just get there with a dip, if need be. Dude, this guy's not passing. He he's like. Yeah, I mean we got it. We do have an eight point. Oh, he got Morkvar. So we got all the. Morkvar out too. Okay. Champion is out. Morkvar is out. I mean. <laughs> yep. That's a pass, right? See ya. So we traded. We traded Philippa for like. Everything. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we also played our justice and whatnot, but that's what you want to do anyway, right? Thin duck. Alright. Uh, let's spend there. Sure. Swindle is good. Uh, we don't really have carryover though. Uh, I think you ditched the dip, right? Dip shouldn't be. Okay. Dip is good. I just mulligan the Gort, I guess. We really want to find Onero. Uh, Furko is something, I suppose. Alright. So if we low roll completely with the swindle, we will have to use two leader charges. But if you if you hit five, you only have to use one. I, I think you go for it. It's good odds, right? You can also just yeah, one leader charge is fine. Yeah, whatever. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, like that's what you expect as an outcome, right? With four between six, you hit the five. Sure, use one leader. No big deal. Get the full coin carry over. So. There's the Anero. Right, nice. 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 Yeah. So that's so everything. Only right? missing uh, the Cleaver and the Gord. Mm. Do we even need this Jackal? I guess it's convenient. Although we could also just mulligan it and on Nero for it if we absolutely need it. I think it's better to have a Crime Rat or the Cleaver. Uh, I think you take another one. Just look for the cleaver. Yeah, didn't get it. Well, that's a spender too, though, so it's True. fine. <laughs> mm, so you do, we we just go cleaver, right? And I think we also play two muscles. Yeah, to get the pocket. Just, yeah, just double click and it should be fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're gonna have spender issues. Uh, although, also we also have to ask if the bloody good fun is actually better than the jackal would have been. But <laughs> true. Yeah. About to find out, I suppose. So he has the other skirm. Yeah, likely. Likely. That's fine. That's bloodthirst. So, do we just go Ferco Swindle? Yeah. yeah, get our bank going. Play it next to the cleaver. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 like... Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you had it right. Yeah. Alright, so this is 7 profit guaranteed. Uh, question yep. is... We are we using the leader charges just to get the boat out? Could get a bit awkward for us. I, th I think, yeah, sure. Let's let's use the leader. Get the bolt out of the way. Then we never have to like worry about going to 9 again. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, leadering the thingy, sure. What if we have poison, man? Wait, he doesn't play iced or he missed it? Ooh, this... okay. So he's an Arna, Arna Chad? 
Maybe. I I mean, do we just drill this? Like, I think we just drill this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So three pings to kill the Covenant, and then I guess we ping each of his guys once. Yeah. Go for another leader and just ping the skull, right? Yeah. I mean, this drill should just die. Too scared, all right. So you we might as well make the best of it. Perk, yeah. Ooh. Smurfia. <laughs> right. Uh, leader charge, bloody good fun. Seems pretty straightforward. Ah, oh, man. Syndicate gameplay. You don't have to make any decisions. You just murder everything. <laughs> Should we take another? Oh, no, because it's a Nah. Problem. Yeah, there's nothing to... There's nothing to murder anymore, man. <laughs> Boat. Okay, bolt, kick sure. Mm. Could just go Triss, right? See what we got. Possibly Shakedown, possibly Swindle. I'll do what I can. Swindle seems good. Although, yeah, I mean, it's guaranteed 7. Sure. Hit the bolt once for sure. Now the Jag only over profits once, so that's fine. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, use the Mork for Mm-hmm. And Champion's Charge. Right. Well, it's just gonna die. Could also be our Heat Wave, but... Yeah, yeah, I think you double ping it, sure. This? Let's just kill the Greatsword, right? Like, I mean... It's not rocket science. Then we just go Jacques and... Yeah. We heat wave whatever he plays next. It doesn't matter, right? Like this game should be in a bag. Still Could also go to nine with this. Ah, I guess you put it to seven, right? I guess you could have Yalmar, but yeah. Let me just whatever. spend with the drill then. Yeah. He he like he doesn't have a board, right? Like <laughs> that's the problem. Well, he got a. Ooh. You got an old direct for a Regis. Boy. Oh, See, he doesn't almost even kill it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sad times. No. Inno Feels innovation. But does not prevail. Yeah. The Subi. Some uh, Syndicate action. Probably my favorite list. Even though it's like the best list. I just. I, I like it mostly because of the. Profit to overspend ratio thing. I've been I've been playing it for me a lot, so mm -hmm. um, definitely. Yeah, I mean, like uh, it, it, while it's very strong, it definitely challenges you a bit, right? Like you have to plan ahead. You have to have a good ratio of spenders and and coin generation. So yeah, I mean, I, I like it too because there's like different versions to suit exactly. how you play you know what i mean like if you want that heat wave you can do that you can go mm -hmm. siggy you could do i i just i like how it like even though you're playing against it you don't really know what you're playing against until you start seeing some of the other cards so i like yeah that that's for sure i mean like that's also what makes the faction so overpowered actually right like the very flexibility yeah um but uh that's the video for today guys uh once again, with Subi, thanks for hanging out, brother. We appreciate you um, playing some Syndicate fun. Um, let me know what you guys <laughs> think. <laughs> um, not so much fun for your opponents, though. That's for sure. Yeah, they're not a fan at all. But uh, it's it is what it is. But uh, yeah, we have to deal with it, man. It's gonna be in the game for another three weeks at least. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So. learn to play it. Learn to play against it because yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And then uh, we'll ha I'll have some seasonal stuff up for the uh, the provision one uh, here sometime. Uh, it might already be out, depending on when I put this video out. So, uh, but, oh, okay. Uh, thank Sounds you guys good. so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.